You know how atheists say that religion makes absolutely no sense whatsoever? Well, it's true, because you can actually debunk the concept of God at every single corner. Now before we begin, I just want to let people know that I'm not against anybody's beliefs in any way, shape, or form, but I am against authority. And sadly, religion is authority because it, it makes you believe that God has these rules that you can't live by, but in reality, it's the government's rules that you need to live by. And religion is part of that uh, authority and it's only used to keep you in line that's the only reason why religion exists now there's nothing wrong with staying in line but the problem is is it solving world issues are these religious messiahs solving world issues you know homelessness still exists war still exists you know poverty still exists think about it are any of these things being cured no, they have the cure for cancer, that's a fact, but guess what? It's too cheap to cure people with the cure for cancer, so they don't release it to the public so that they can make more money, right? And religion is the same thing. Religion makes you believe that there's some kind of deity in the sky who wants your money, you know, give to the poor, give to this, sell all your things, sell everything you have. Like, think about it. Like religion rakes in billions of dollars and it doesn't even solve a single world issue. It just gives some money to the poor and some money to the richest people in the world. That's all that religion is. It doesn't actually solve any world issue on the face of the earth at all. And that's why I don't like religion because it doesn't serve human rights at all. Like if there really was a God, wouldn't God give me a shelter to live on or a car to drive for transportation? No, I have to go out and slave away for that type of stuff. Like actually think about it. And that's why I don't, that, like that's why it doesn't, this is why it doesn't make any sense to an atheist. And now I'm gonna go into a philosophical reason of why it doesn't make any sense. Um, yes, of course I do, because who created God, and who created that 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 God? It could go on for an eternity. At some point, you're going to have to believe that something can, in fact, come from nothing. Well, why can't the universe be eternal? Why couldn't any of this just always be here? But this is something that we can actually perceive. A God we cannot perceive. We only feel him through our psychological way of thinking. Now, theists always like to say that, oh, what about gravity? You know, can you see gravity? It's like, no. Then how do you know that it's there? Well, I can feel it. Well, there you go. There, there, a God must exist. But the thing is, is that gravity is actually proves to exist like the air that we breathe. That type of stuff is actually scientifically proven. A God still is not scientifically proven. Are you sure that your Messiah is the savior of man? Is it solving any world issue on the face of the earth? Or is it more like this? Do you believe in my God? No. If you don't believe in my God, I'm gonna kill you. That's exactly how people live in th third world countries. As messed up as that sounds. It doesn't really solve world issues. It creates more diversity which makes more fights between the diversities. Not to mention, it also manipulates the concept of afterlife because you just believe 
that there's only one way to the afterlife. Okay, the afterlife could be anything. What if we die and we end up at a slot machine, we pull the lever and it just happens to be whoever you are meant to be and you go and live that life. What if after you die, you see God and he's like, you are every single person on the planet. Now I'm gonna send you back to live this life because you need to learn this lesson sends you back to a different lifetime. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be, oh, you follow these rules, you go to heaven. You don't follow them, you go to hell. It doesn't have to be like that. Unless you repent, then all your sins are forgiven. Like, but I can still remember my sins, so you can't just tell me that God just erases it out of his book. Like, it doesn't make much sense. It also doesn't make much sense because there's so many people on this planet. How can he keep track of every single right and wrong thing that he's done on this planet or that someone has ever done in their lifetime? Like, can God grow, you know, a trillion arms in order to accomplish this goal? Because throughout history, I gotta tell ya that there has been probably more than trillions of sins that has ever happened. And keeping track of them all underneath one name for one person to do kind of seems a little unrealistic, don't you think? This seems a little supernatural. But the crazy thing is that none of this is proven to exist. I'm just giving you different concepts of the afterlife. Like here's another one for the afterlife. What if I'm the only one in this period of time, in space and time, so I'm the only one who's consciously aware in this moment of time, and you've already perceived this video, let's say a thousand years ago, and right now I'm living this lifetime, and also right now you're living in someone else's body in a different lifetime that's actually a thousand years in the future while I'm actually a thousand years in the past perceiving a different lifetime. What if that's reality? You, you never know. It's just giving you more perspective on reality. And this is why that I know for a fact that if you believe in something hard enough, anything that you're told outside of that belief, you're going to reject. You're going to be ignorant about it because it's not serving your beliefs, which actually limits the knowledge that you can consume into your brain. This is why I'm very strong on perceive things the ways that others perceive them, because you never actually know what reality has. But if you have more perspective on reality, how can you go wrong? You know, I'm a strong believer that life is all about discovery has nothing to do with believing or non-believing, whatever. This is why personally, I choose to rather believe in nothing, but have all of the perspectives rather than believe in something and only have one perspective. If God really knew everything and he loved me at the same time, why would he even create me if he already knows what I'm going to do with my life. Think about it. He created Satan. He created the Son of God, any Messiah that you choose. He also created, you know, Lucifer, the angel of Lucifer, and he rebelled. And he already knew that before he even created Lucifer. So he already knew what he was getting himself into before he even created Lucifer. And then he rebelled. And then he obviously already knew that he was going to create existence. But the thing about this, that doesn't make much sense. When you think God is a little higher than some dramatic event, you know, you can't just tell me that all of existence is in creation because of it because of a dramatic event that happened between God and Lucifer. You can't tell me that whoever's kingdom is bigger wins. You can't just tell me something ridiculous like that. There's no way 
this reality that is around us that we're perceiving is created because of a dramatic event. When you think, you know, the creator of all things of perfect knowledge and omniscience would be higher than a dramatic event. Now the story of Adam and Eve really makes no sense because Adam and Eve had no knowledge of good and evil until after they ate that fruit. So it doesn't matter what you tell Adam and Eve. You could tell them not to do this, not to do that. Who cares what it is? They will still have no knowledge of good and evil until after they eat the fruit. And then people say that, oh, but the serpent told them to eat the fruit. It's like, okay, but they still have no knowledge of good and evil until after they ate the fruit. So not until after they eat the fruit, then they'll understand right from wrong. But if they had no knowledge of good and evil to begin with, how could it really be wrong? Now this video is supposed to be opening your awareness to see and question what you believe in. Because what you believe in isn't exactly solving any world issues. It's just making you depends how you perceive your religion. You know, you could be using it for good, you could be using it for bad. I know that there's a lot of good things and a lot of bad things in religions. But the way that I see it is that it's used for psychological control, to take your money so that, you know, people can get rich off it. It's more like a business, but not exactly. It's an institution. And institutions make billions of dollars, especially if it's controlled by the authorities. So hopefully this video has helped you expand your awareness just a little tiny bit and help you uh, see uh, the afterlife a little bit differently than what you've been told. I hope that um, you're not as terrified from the concept of eternal damnation for eternity because also that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever either because you're going to tell me that God creates everything in existence and then if you don't follow his rules even though he didn't even you know tell us these rules he just according to theists um, the Holy Spirit works through people to write these holy books but how do you know that the Holy Spirit actually exists in the first place it's not proven to exist. So how do you actually know that the Holy Spirit was working through these people? How do you know it wasn't just people trying to psychologically manipulate the minds of the masses so that they'll follow and obey the rules? How do you know that? How do you know it's not either or? But back to the concept of hell, you're going to tell me that God creates everything, gives us these rules, if we don't follow these rules, he's going to put us in a pit of fire for eternity. But I think God himself is more of a satanic demon than Satan himself. Because Satan only reigned on humanity since Adam and Eve. But God is going to reign on conscious souls of his own creation when they enter the kingdom of hell. So that's why I think that God is a lot more evil than Satan. Not to mention, he created Satan and he already knew it was going to happen, so why would he create it all if he already knew it was going to happen? In my eyes, that's pure evil. Now, for me, I don't, I'm not religious. I'm completely happy with my life. I don't actually, like, I'm not, I don't feel that I need religion to help me with my life. I believe that I am in control of everything that happens in my life and everything that's gonna happen in the future of my life and in the lessons that I'm destined to learn in my life. It's all about self-awareness. It's all about working on myself and bettering myself. And I think everybody should be on that type of level because I think more people's lives would become a lot better if they start relying on themselves rather than other people.